Hi, for this video, I decided to combine the subject matter study tips for the GRE Mathematics or Quantitative Exam. This will cover study tips for algebra, arithmetic, geometry, and data analysis. For algebra, you want to study algebraic expressions, rules of exponents, linear equations, quadratic equations, linear inequalities, functions, applications, um, applications of algebra, coordinate geometry, graphs, and functions. And it, seem, it seems like a lot, but uh, I actually think the algebra part is the easiest part of the exam. Uh, pay close attention to expressions with exponents, uh, one variable linear e equations, systems of linear equations, quadratic equations and functions, one variable linear inequalities, functions, applications of mathematical reasoning, linear equation and functions, word problem, two variable linear equations, system of linear equation, two variable linear inequalities, quadratic equations and functions, and manipulating functions. And if you didn't get all that, uh, make it a point to pause the video and take time to copy this all down. For arithmetic, you want to study integers, fractions, exponents and roots, decimals and real numbers, ratios and percents. Uh, make sure that everything, every operation that you could possibly do with arithmetic in terms of integers and fractions, you can do them by hand. Most of us have gotten really used to doing things using the calculator, but you need to be able to do these things by hand. Even though it's true, you will be able to, be able to use a calculator on the exam. So pay close attention to multiplication, division, um, negative numbers, absolute values, factors, multiples, radicals, scientific notations, arithmetic properties or arithmetic properties, equations, expressions, inequalities, proportions, units, and rates. And if any of this is unfamiliar to you, um, take time to do the research and try to figure out what these terms mean and what it means to you in terms of arithmetic and what you need to know for the exam. When it refers to data analysis, it's referring to what most of us know as probability and statistics. So studying that will help out a lot. Uh, you want to study the following concepts, graphical methods for describing data, numerical methods for describing data, counting methods, probability distribution of data, random variables and probability distributions, as well as data interpretation. And pay close attention to data and modeling, descriptive statistics, combinatorics, which is accounting method, independent and dependent events, and modeling distributions of data. For geometry, you want to study all the things that geometry tells you about for lines and angles, polygons, triangles, quadrilaterals, circles, three-dimensional figures, which include uh, cones and cylinders. And of course, those are not all the possible figures you can have in geometry. But I will say that the main figures that you typically see in lower level geometry are the ones that you'll see on the exam. So pay close attention to angles and intersecting lines, perimeters, area, and volume. That's for all the figures. Of course, volume deals with three-dimensional figures. But pay attention to uh, perimeter area as it applies to polygons, triangles, quadrilaterals, and circles as well. Also pay attention to intersecting lines, congruence, similarity, right triangles, trigonometry, quadrilaterals, and circles. That's all I have for you in this video, but before you go, I have a free resource for you. If you want to participate in a free email course to prepare you for the GRE math exam, then visit the link that is in the description box now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care. And have a good day.